Now, having said that, let's go through some build layouts. Human versus orc, for instance. In human versus orc, there are two early game threats that we should consider. There is the blade master. And I'm just going to lower the sound on this just a tad. There is the blade master. The blade master is fatter than a peasant. As such, everywhere where a peasant fits, the blade doesn't necessarily fit. A farm against any other building is a full wall off. As such, peasants can walk around uh, farm situations, but heroes cannot. A farm against the forest is even a full wall off for anything, including ghouls, wisps, peasants. So you'll note that the peasant can't walk past here, but he can walk past the altar and the trees. Important things to consider. Because Blade Master is a big threat in Human vs. Orc, we always make our base layout a full wall off. As such, Blade cannot enter, which creates a safe zone right here. Grunts likewise cannot enter, they have the same size as a Blade Master. What we have achieved now is both a blessing and a curse. Our Archmage cannot run away from the Blade Master when he comes to right click me, with or without boots of speed. Archmage is outside and can get stuck in your own base. If you ever double click town portal, it takes you to exactly the bottom right of your town hall, which is fine when you're at the left side location. But if you make the same base layout at the right side location, a double tap gets you right here and to the inside of your wall off. You'll be imprisoned in your own base. Definitely not something you would want to have happen. As such, when you're playing on the right side, you must always aim your town portal to the left. You cannot rely on the luxury of being able to double tap it, whereas on the left side it's fine. What you also shouldn't do is something like this. If you can see what's gonna happen if you double tap now, even if you mean well to protect an arcane tower, a few units will get stuck here and the rest will be safe. This is the standard premise of human versus orc layout. However you want to do it, two buildings on one side and two on the other. This is safe against blade master. Now you may ask, what do you do if blade master clicks archmage? with boots of speed or without or with hex or just with speed scroll you're gonna get hurt if it's only the blade and you've got a bunch of footmen and one or two elementals you can simply attack the blade master i would like to see one moment or a plus in a fire plus protection scroll max armor with knights and stuff feel free to adapt thank you very much will do i'll talk to you about uh I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. Um, if uh, if this water elemental um, here, one of these water elementals is the blade master, and he's gonna right click your archmage, simply attack it, walk a shift click circle around yourself, and then use a footman to block. It forces him to use as many wind walks as possible while you get maximum damage on him. This is how you're going to keep yourself safe from the Blade Master, since you cannot enter your own base safely. One of the cool things is that Arcane Sanctum, imagine this is a Sanctum, creates all three units that are safely able to walk through all of these tiny gaps. Well, whatever, you have to believe me. Uh, they can walk through the gaps, breakers, casters, priests. So this is a great build against blade. Finally, orc can also go farce here. As such, you will make a tower here and make an arcane tower. Note that there are base layouts that allow, a uh, base build orders that allow you to fast tech to tier two without an arcane tower. That's fine, but you must be cognizant of the fact that you are making a deliberate choice to be ahead in tech against Blade, while being extra weak against Farseer. Not making that Arcane Tower is a greedy choice and you must be aware that you are making that greedy gambling choice. Extra strong against Blade, extra weak against Farseer. Going altar 
Altar, Barracks, Farm, Farm, Arcane Tower is a much safer way of playing against Farseer, and it means you have to make fewer concessions defending your base against any potential Farseer harass. Finally, uh, at the late game, and especially against Farseer, it's perfectly fine to open up your base. This allows you to walk to the back of your base sometimes. It has some other advantages, but there will always be things that Orc can do to abuse that as well. If you open this whole thing up, an Orc with Farseer TC can speed scroll in, decimate your peasant line and town portal out. There's always something that is uh, advantage or disadvantage. But this layout is mostly for the early game. Now let's restart and talk about if an opponent is Night Elf. Against Night Elves, we used to be very uh, scared as a human of uh, Demon Hunter Immolation Harass. That was probably 15 years ago or more. By now, Demon Hunter is still a threat to walk into your base and kill some peasants. Especially if the, if the Night Elf doesn't care about getting his Demon Hunter Arcane Towered to zero mana and just uses the demon as a tank without any spells. If you just leave it open li like this, uh, you build your farm here and you build some farms here and you just leave this open, demon can just go in, kill a bunch of peasants with Naga, Sea Witch and Dryad harass, and then they can just Staff of Preservation the demon out. So against Night Elf likewise, it is fairly prudent to also do a full wall off. But I would say it's not nearly as important in Human versus Night Elf as it is in other matchups. Specifically because these days, Night Elves mostly make Keeper of the Grove. A Keeper has a ranged attack, he's also got Entangle that can entangle peasants over the wall. As such, a full wall off is rather a curse than a blessing. If I'm thinking about my base layout and I'm thinking about Keeper of the Grove, I would sooner make a base layout like this. Arcane Tower in front, some protection so that any future potential bears cannot attack it. This Arcane Tower means that anytime Keeper wants to go from here to here, he will be exposed to the Arcane and lose some mana. Although this is easier to be taken down by archers, hunters and so on, if you keep working on your farm wall to give a little bit of protection, Huntresses will not have an easy time to take this Arcane Tower down. He can get a Guard Tower here as well that can supplement and you still have the option to walk away with rifle caster armies go to the back of your base marshal your forces and uh, try to resist a, a night elf attack more easily this is also a decent spot to situate yourself with rifle caster in the mid to late game if he ever attacks your base with bears mountain giants or otherwise so if you restart the game and you think, hey, I'm against Night Elf, you might just do like, okay, I'm going to do an altar here and a farm here so that they can't directly walk towards my uh, peasant line as easily, which can be quite threatening. But you say, okay, I'm going to go for a very loose base layout. I'm going to build my barracks and farm here. Demon hunter being called the demon. Pet He's part demon and he knows it. So you can just build like this and you say like, okay, I'm going to build an arcane tower kind of to the front. Note that there's far more real estate on this side of Echo Isles. This is an anti-symmetrical layout that's actually bad for competitive play because it's so different. But at the same time, I guess it, reforce, it forces you to rethink everything. But it's definitely imbalanced whether you're left or right. The expansions likewise uh, have a lot of different type of real estate. So you must be aware of that. It's not nearly as good to make your arcane tower here because someone can easily come with all archers, take it down, and they're never forced to walk through it. So you lose a key advantage. Maybe if I'm here, I still just make my arcane tower here so that I zone out any keeper from being able to entangle my gold line uh, peasants without uh, you know, taking too much mana from the arcane tower. Maybe I build my blacksmith here and I build a farm here to kind of complete the picture. Lumber mill ends up in the back and uh, I built another farm here. The shop, maybe I build it over here so that I can reach it easily from the outside while still being able to access it from the inside as well. Another cool thing to remember is that when you town portal with double click, you will be in a safe location immediately that has a decent spread for your units. You can go in any direction easily and you're within arm's length of being able to get a new TP, a healing potion, ivory tower, whatever. So this is a pretty nice layout against uh, against Night Elf. 
that is probably more suitable than the traditional full wall off. Against an undead player, it's not quite the same as against either Orc or Night Elf. Undead players must be disincentivized from easily being able to reach your worker line. If you do something like this, he's gonna come in with DK Lich, Crypt Fiend, walk right here, kill a bunch of peasants and run out or TP out. So like, like, likewise, you wanna make sure that they, once again, can't get to your gold line too easily since human peasants are one of the most vulnerable uh, workers to harass together with, uh, I guess, Undead Acolytes, though they did get a little bit easier. You can do the full wall off simply so that ghouls and DK don't have as easy of a time uh, taking down peasants. But again, I feel like it's not nearly as important against Undead as it is against Orc. It's the same in Human Mirror. In Human Mirror, you probably still want the full wall off with an Arcane Tower in a really backwards position so it doesn't get taken out too easily. However, all you'll be keeping out is the Archmage itself, Forest Stroll Berserker, and also the Water Elemental Level 2 can now not enter your base. Same with Water Elemental Level 1, and that is still a bit of an advantage. Although Water Elementals do get burned down by Arcane Towers, specifically the Level 2 Elemental has so much health that it takes a long time to actually take it down. So if you were to build in a kind of loose fashion like this for instance, Someone may just send an elemental in, kill a peasant that was low, and uh, that doesn't cost them any real units, just a, a summoned creature's worth of experience. So I do still like a full wall off against human, whatever exact shape you make, be it like this, or the immediate full wall off as I displayed in the first instance. Something like this. Yeah. Different maps employ the same concepts. So even though on Twisted you may not be able to easily make the wall off in the same way, you should still gravitate towards it with as few buildings as possible to quickly close the gap. Hope you found this a little bit useful. And uh, yeah, thanks for requesting it. It's always nice.